Uh, it's more actually the consumer appetite because when consumers travel, they generally have the feel-good factor that encourages them to buy luxury goods. In addition to, of course, the VAT refund uh, and tax and price differentials that they're able to benefit from, particularly when Asian tourists travel and shop in Europe. So that's really the big delta here is that in the latest set of Richemont results, what appears to be perhaps missing is that uh, explosion, as you put it, in Asian tourism into Europe. Uh, we are seeing, for example, Chinese tourists return very uh, sharply to other destinations in Asia. Uh, Richemont itself said its sales in Hong Kong and Macau were up triple digits in the quarter, which is very likely explained by the return of mainland Chinese tourism uh, into Hong Kong. We're just not seeing it to the same extent uh, yet in Europe, but that's surely coming with the return of flight capacity, uh, as well as the willingness of Chinese consumers to travel further abroad uh, rather than the immediate nearby destinations that they have been used to. Is fascinating, and I think the, the VAT rebate thing was fascinating as well. But I mean, Swati, I've got to be honest. Whenever I travel, I feel more broke with my family, let alone having a feel-good factor about how much I want to spend. But that's a personal issue. Uh, in terms of um, the warning signs, then for this sect, if we're not seeing that explosion of tourism that we would have expected to see from a reopening, and we're seeing obviously a lot of domestic concerns as well in China, does that mean then that the rally we've had in a lot of luxury uh, stocks? actually is on shakier ground at these high levels. So there are two things there, which is that we're just ahead of the return of uh, tourism, given that the peak summer season is still ahead of us. We had 180 million outbound Chinese trips in 2019, pre-pandemic. Uh, in 2022, that figure was 8 million. So clearly strong scope for building that back up uh, as people want to travel, as the economy reopens, which itself is a contingent, uh, which itself is, is contingent on factors like flight capacity, as well as visa issuance. So all of that suggests that there should be an acceleration in outbound tourism as we go along. Uh, and then secondly, in terms of what this means, uh, the macro data means for Chinese uh, luxury consumption, historically, uh, luxury is clearly not immune to the broader economy, but it has been fairly resilient. Uh, China is a country of 1.4 billion people, a middle class numbering over 400 million. It is estimated that Western luxury goods tap into an audience of maybe 20 to 25 million luxury consumers in China. So they're tapping into a very small sliver of the population overall. The argument, the secular argument still remains penetration of the middle class, which is continuing. Uh, so I would say that the macro picture per se is not as relevant as the underlying uh, consumer sentiment of the individuals purchasing these products.